Hey friends, we've already gone running errands this morning and we've come home, Jason just vacuumed and I have gone through Ashley's cheer bag, her current one. This is the one she's currently using for cheer. Um, we vacuumed out probably what would have been an entire sleeve of Ritz crackers and crumbs, um, but she's got her pom-poms in here, her um, new jacket, and a pair of pants, because we often find that when she's at performances going to and from, her legs are cold. So we have a little pair of um, flannel, or fleece um, pajama pants in there, and then as well as some snacks in this main compartment in non-crumb form now. And then we also have like her face wipes and her bow. This is all for her performance tomorrow. So this bag is ready to go, but this bag right here, this is her other cheer squad that she's does sideline cheer for. Um, this bag is the one that we are going to have her travel with because she needs to take her pom-poms and because pom-poms cannot be smashed, like they need to be staying in like this puffy form, I need to take this backpack instead of this one because there's no pom-pom compartment. This, the only, like the whole bag um, is pom-poms in this one. But in this backpack, this whole bottom compartment right here, this bottom here, is a compartment by itself where the pom-poms can go. And then Ashley can use the other top half of the compartment um, to put her pillow, a little blanket, and any snacks and iPads she needs on the plane. So I am going through this bag, getting it ready to um, take upstairs and have her pack for the trip because we just have two more performances and then I can go ahead and pack the, I actually might have her just use this bag for the last performance because it, I think, if I remember right, she still has two more. Regardless, I um, went to um, clean this guy out. I don't want to count how many pom-poms she has between the two squads. So she has one pair in here, um, the red and the silver for the squad she's on. So then we have two. That is a set. And then we have, there's a pink set. So I'm going to pull out one there. I'm sure there's another one in here. There's another pink one. And that is for Breast Cancer Awareness Week. So that's two and then three. So different games allow for different types of pom-pom and we've collected them over the years. We also have in here a, ba a barf bag. So this is a what's in Ashley's cheer bag unboxing video. <laughs> Claw clip. We also have her cheer shirt from last year, pain cream. We should put that into this bag. Yeah, we'll put that one into this one because I don't think she's going to need that in Japan. I don't have to worry about the liquid. Okay, so that goes in there. I'm already getting hot. And what else do we have in here? Okay, so this one, I must have cleaned this one out pretty well after her last squad. There's her little undies for her outfit for that squad. What is this? Yep, that's her other squad t-shirt and I think okay oh and a comb that's where all our combs have gone is to cheer okay so no crumbs left in this one so I've already vacuumed out the side pocket here and I've cleaned out these side pockets so she can actually put her I think her awala water bottle will fit here and then it has a little velcro strap here she could attach it with so what I want her to do is to put the pom-poms in the bottom compartment of this but I also want to see if she can fit a small um, what do you call it compression bag um, and have she's a small girl and she wears tank tops and little shorts and that's what she's going to be wearing in Hawaii. So I think I can take most of her clothes for Hawaii and put them into one tiny compression bag, not even the size of the bottom of this bag. Like I think I could, well, yeah, maybe the size of that bag, put them in that compression bag, put it on the bottom layer of this little um, compartment here for her pom-poms 
and then put the pom-poms on top of the compression bag so that they're completely out of the way. She has an extra outfit in there in case anything happens on the plane. Um, and then all the other pillow, snacks, iPad, things to do on the plane are in the main compartment. The pom-poms, when they're in there, they do fill up the bag. So she'll have this upper portion, like, the, like it makes a bottom layer right here. Um, and then she has the back pouch here for her iPad. So I think this is gonna be a great bag to utilize um, for uh, her, for the trip. It's a bigger bag than like her regular backpack, I think. Um, but her backpack will not work for pom-poms, which is why we had to kind of think about actually taking a chair backpack. And now I gotta, that just fell down. Now I gotta figure out what to do with all the pom-poms to keep them safe. What I might do is just put them in a, like a trash bag um, and keep them all in like good form. And then I might actually just stick it on a hanger. Put the trash bag over a hanger. That's what I'm gonna do. And then we'll just hang it up here in the closet. And then when we get back, we can put the pom-poms back into that cheer bag until she's using them this summer. I'm gonna do that right now. Then the other thing that we're gonna be doing, which is what we're kind of waiting for right now, as I showed you, we gotta get rid of all of these today. Hopefully in the next 20 minutes or so, we have one of the cheer moms bringing over a U-Haul. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. This is my little drink station if you haven't seen this. Our little trash bag dispenser is right here. One of the chair moms has gone to pick up the U-Haul. She's loading stuff up from her house. And then coming over here, and then a couple other moms are gonna meet us here. We'll load up all of our stuff into the U-Haul. Then we're gonna take the U-Haul to another mom's house we will help load up anything that she has at her house and then the U-Haul will stay at her house because she's kind of centrally located. And people have until 8 a.m. tomorrow morning to um, take extra stuff to her house and put it in the U-Haul. Uh, because at eight o'clock tomorrow morning, we have to be down south, down by the airport to the Value Village and deliver everything all at one time. So we're all meeting the ripe old time of 8 a.m. even though we have a chair performance for about four hours later <laughs> over in Seattle. So it's a lot, this is why yesterday I allowed myself to just kind of have like a down afternoon. Um, I'm getting kind of hot, but they're, oh, they're gonna be here in 10 minutes, hopefully. So I'm gonna get this cleaned up here really quick and then we will see how much they have in the U-Haul when they get here. I also need to keep track of all of her bows, all of her. She's had two different breast cancer awareness pink bows because she's done two different seasons. Um, and they just, it's an automatic bow and then she has two different types of bow for actual performances on that squad. But I need to keep these together. Um, so I'll probably just put those in the trash bag with the pom-poms. Okay, that's, that's what we're doing and he's, what are you doing? I'm gonna listen to a podcast for 10 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna listen to my podcast while I clean this stuff up and then we will load the U-Haul. All right, we've been kind of twiddling our thumbs and kind of coming up with things to do. I just finally started editing because our group of moms, they're like an hour and a half to two hours late. I just took, they probably didn't have as many people there. Oh, they're pulling up right now, great timing.
our garage back, which is nice. And uh, that went faster than I thought. This whole space is opened up. Couldn't even tell that we had uh, bikes under here. And we accidentally almost donated our patio cushions. But luckily I noticed the other side of it. So we are free for the day. That was literally our task of the day. They don't need us to go with them. All right, we fast forwarded a couple hours. And just when I was like kind of okay with myself, just taking a little nap. I came along. Someone, no, you, I can sleep through you. But this one came along and said he wanted to finish his haircut. Wanted me to finish his haircut. I need a haircut. And by the time he said his name, said my name and realized my very tired response, he's like, oh crap, I woke her up. But there was no going back from that point. So we are going to just go be bored over at a really dinky mall. I need to go to Old Navy. I've got some super cash to burn and then um of course you couldn't just like let it go i'm not i'm not die hard i wasn't planning on going until like she wanted to go do something i give them really ideas. you do amazing ideas yes yeah. and then we'll likely end at red robin for a light a you light crumble. dinner aka a cheap dinner yeah we're not going to crumble <laughs> She wants to go to Crumble because they have a, supposedly the mystery cookie is the Ariana Grande. Ar Ariana, Ariana Grande, Olivia Rodrigo. The way you <sighs> even watched both. I bought both of them. No, Ashley. Well, yeah. she watched one. I watched one. So we'll, I don't, we're not going to Crumble tonight, but because one is not in that direction, and two, I don't need the calories. I don't need to have I access need because two of the cookies look really good, Ash, and I can resist a lot of things. But I can't resist some of their cookies, and they looked really, really good, especially the caramel one and the brownie peanut butter one. Emma might agree with all your decisions about crumble. I know. <laughs> and Emma is coming over on Sunday. She's what? gonna grace us with her present. <laughs> oh, what? I'll have to ask her what time or something. But... Yeah, that's fine. Bye, then it'll be too late. Cause I know that it's all just fake. But I'm Well, I did do a good job filming, but we had a good time. Ash. Dad's trying to take away the coat from, from Ashley. Here, let me see the t-shirts. I was kind of annoyed at Old Navy because I uh, had super cash. I had $10 off, $25 purchase. And the t-shirts that we found and tank tops for Chelsea were eight dollars a piece, bringing three of them to twenty-four dollars. And so, so I was like, well, then I guess I'm going to use both of my my uh, super cash, and like, might as well use all fifty of it and get twenty dollars off. But they wouldn't let me combine the super cash, which was super annoying. So I had to buy a whole extra T-shirt per order in order to like have the super cash work. <sighs> it was really annoying. They've never done that to me before. I've always been able to like use them all in conjunction with each other. Um, but I guess I'll show you at home the ones I got. They're pretty cute. Actually, I'll just show you really quick. It's good lighting right here while they get into the car. Kind of, I've never done stripes like that before. That one's mine. And then I got a blue and white stripe. And. Is that one Chelsea's? And then a plain blue one. Can I have my what? Bag. Why? For my phone. No. My po Oh, you for your uh, chapstick? Ashley got a little elf lip gloss. It's good though. Okay, that's fine. Chelsea got a t-shirt. Like, it has a cute little flower on it. What does it say? It says super chill. Which normally she doesn't do decals on hers or little logos. And then she got a gray, it's like those little tank tops. Gray one, and like a maroon, and navy blue. Very much her colors. She would have done a baby blue one had they had it, but they didn't. Um, so, I think we might call it a day. Because I think 
I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna go home and get into bed. So, also at Red Robin, well, although I was proud of Jason and I for just getting salads, it was probably the worst salad I've had in the years. That would be tough. Yeah. The lettuce was like super wilty, brown. The chicken was good. It wasn't brown. It was just I don't so know, we just kind of made focused on eating the chicken <laughs> and the Parmesan cheese. Um, but anyway, you guys had a good time. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. You ready to go home? Yeah. Yep. Sleep. Sleep. Oh, that sounds so good. I have to wake up at seven o'clock tomorrow morning. That sucks. So. And I'm going to go to bed. Yeah. Are you gonna come with me, Ash, or no? I almost don't want to wake her up. <laughs> well, let's go home and get her in bed. Okay. Yeah. We're going to sign off with you guys. We got a lot done today. Uh, we did forget to go to Verizon yeah, Wireless and check out. in and make sure we are fine with international phone coverage. Well, works. So, we'll have to do that on his next day off. So, take care, you guys, and we will see you guys next time. Bye.